Australia's much-loved koalas have officially been classified as endangered. According to fossil records, koala species have inhabited parts of Australia for at least 25 million years. But today, only one species remains, the Fascolarctos cinereus. Mostly found in the southeast and eastern sides of Australia, koalas live in the eucalyptus-rich habitat. They survive on a strict diet of up to a kilogram of eucalyptus leaves every day. Due to the low nutritional value of these leaves, koalas tend to sleep for extended periods, sometimes up to 18 hours a day to conserve energy. After widespread bushfires, drought and land clearing, the koalas have lost much of their eucalyptus-rich habitat. An estimated 60,000 koalas were impacted in Queensland during the catastrophic 2019 bushfires. Since 2001, the number of koalas in New South Wales declined by between 33% and 61%, while in Queensland, the koala population decreased by at least half during the same period. In 2020, World Wildlife Fund Australia, the International Fund for Animal Welfare and the Humane Society International collectively nominated the koala for upgrading its status to endangered. A parliamentary inquiry in New South Wales also found that koalas would be extinct in the state by 2050 unless the government took urgent action. But nothing happened. Two years later, on February 11th, Australia's Environment Minister Susan Lay announced that the government has uplisted koalas on the East Coast from vulnerable to endangered. Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced that the government will be spending $35 million over the next four years towards the conservation and recovery of the koala population. Environment groups have said that reclassifying the koala's conservation status was long overdue. But critics say it will accomplish little, as it does not compel the Australian government to take special action. More needs to be done, but for now, the government's proposed recovery plan could be a critical step to save the iconic animal's home.